Hi everyone, in this video we'll talk about Android Debug Bridge or ADB. So what is ADB? So ADB is actually an interface between our Jenny Motion and our Sentuku VM operating system. So with the help of Android Debug Bridge, we can actually connect our Android operating system that is running inside Jenny Motion with Sentuku operating system. So with the help of ADB, what else we can do? We can install any APK file, we can uninstall any APK file, we can push any file, we can pull out any file, even we can take a remote access of a shell of that Android operating system with the help of ADB. Now let's have a look at few commands of Android debug bridge which we can use while testing our Android application. So you can see here a few commands of ADB. So the first command is ADB connect. So first of all in order to use Android debug bridge we have to connect our Jenny motion with it. So how we can connect it? So all we have to do is we just have to open a terminal of our Sentuku VM operating system. So once we are inside terminal, we just have to write down ADB connect followed by the IP address of our Jenny motion or our Android mobile phone. So once we write down the IP address, we just have to hit enter and then we will be able to connect with that Jenny motion device. Then what we can do in order to find out that how many devices are actually connected with our Android debug bridge, we can just simply write down ADB devices. And if you want to access a shell of that Android mobile phone, then what you have to do is we just have to write down ADB shell, then we will just get prompted inside the shell of that Android operating system. Similarly, we can install any application, we can uninstall application by just writing down ADB install, ADB uninstall, even we can push some file, even we can pull out some files from Android operating system with the help of Android debug bridge. So one of the main advantage or the main thing in the ADB is ADB logcat. So what is ADB logcat? So by using ADB logcat, we can actually access a central repository where our Android mobile phone stores various kinds of logs. So by using ADB logcat, we can access that logs. Now let's see how we can use Android debug bridge in our system. Now let's see how we can use Android Debug Bridge. So in the previous video, we have set it up our Jenny Motion as well as Sentuku VM operating system. And you can see here that my Sentuku operating system is up and running and make sure to put the Sentuku operating system on bridge adapter. Well, in order to connect Jenny Motion with the Android Debug Bridge, the first thing we have to do is we have to find out the IP address of the Jenny Motion. So here you can see my Jenny Motion Android emulator and in order to find out the IP address of this Jenny Motion we have to go to its settings Wi-Fi and here you can see that it's connected via wired SSID so just hold it and click on modify network and you will see here a IP address so its IP address is 192.168.0.134 and in order to connect this Jenny Motion device with the ADB what we have to do First of all, we'll open the terminal and we just write down here ADB connect followed by the IP address of the Jenny motion that is 192.168.0.134 and we'll also ping that IP address and you can see here that we are able to ping that IP address means our connection is successful and in order to verify that if any device is connected with our Android debug bridge, just write down here ADB devices and it will list out all the connected devices through our Android debug bridge and you can see here that this IP address is right now connected with port 5555 through our Sentuku operating system. Now in order to get inside the shell of Jenny motion, just write here ADB shell and you can see here that right now we are inside the shell of this Android emulator that is Jenny motion and here you can see that we are right now inside the shell of the Jenny motion and if I do ls you can see all the files which are present inside that Android operating system. So let me take you to the directory which contains Android installed packages. So there is one directory in, inside the Android that is data slash data and this directory contains all the Android installed packages so you can see here that all the applications which are installed in this Android phone is installed here inside this packages data slash data and you can see all the packages now what we'll do we'll figure out that what is the directory which actually contains the APK file of these packages means if you install any application in your Android phone and you want to find the APK of that application so you can find the APK of that application inside data 
then app so here you can see that right now we are inside slash data slash app and if I do ls you can see here all the apk files so these are the two important directories in Android which contains Android packages as well as their apk files now let's see where Android stores our external storage so there is one directory called as mnt so let me go there hit ls and you will find one directory named as SD card so let me take you there so here is the external storage of our Genymotion Android phone and in order to get back just write here exit and you will get back to your send to go operating system VM shell now let's see how we can install any APK in our Genymotion. Just for example, you have one APK file and you want to install that APK inside our Genymotion Android emulator. So what you can do, first of all, let me take you to the directory which contains that APK file. So you will see here that there is one APK files that is interview questions that this APK file is of tutorials point. So what we'll do, we'll install this application inside our Genymotion. So how we can do that? Just write here ADB install followed by this apk file that is interview.tutorialspoint.apk hit enter and you will see here that the application will appear here in the Jenny motion so you can see here that the application comes here that is interview questions and if I open this application so this is how the application looks like so this is how we can install any Android application from our Centrico operating system inside Genymotion and in order to uninstall the application that we, ha we have to do a little trick so we can only uninstall a particular APK from our Genymotion but in order to uninstall application we don't have to write the application name instead we have to write down the package name of that application so what we'll do first of all we will find out the application package of this application which we just right now installed and once we got the package name of this application then we'll try to uninstall this application so first of all we will go inside the ADV shell and we'll go inside data data hit ls and you will see here a package name called as interview.tutorials point so this is the package name of that application first of all let's go inside this application package and let's see what kind of files it contains so you will see here that it contains some directories cache lib so let me just gonna go back and let's copy the package name of this application now in order to uninstall the application the first thing we have to do is we, we have to come back means we have to exit it from the ADB shell so right now we are inside the Centric operating system shell so in order to uninstall the application just write down here ADB uninstall followed by the package name and let me gonna go here hit enter and you will see here we got a success message and the application has been successfully uninstalled so this is how we can install the application we can uninstall the application now let's see how we can run commands on an android emulator so first of all we will go inside the adb shell so right now we are inside the adb shell so if you want to list out all the processes which is running at the background of this Jenny motion just write here ps so you will get the list of all the packages now let me go back let me exit it from here so in order to execute any command on a Jenny motion shell we just have to write down adv shell followed by the command so if I just write here adv shell ps then what this command will do this command will execute the ps command on a Jenny motion and gives the output back to us so the thing to be noticed is that I am not inside the Jenny motion shell I am in the Centric operating system shell so if I just hit enter you will see that it has listed out all the processes so if I just write here adb shell ls then you can see here that it has listed out all the files which is present inside the Jenny motion so this is how we can execute a particular command now let's have a look at logcat which is a central repository of all the logs so just write here adb logcat 
So ADB Logcat is actually a central repository where our Android phone stores all the logs of all the applications. So in order to access Logcat, just write down here ADB Logcat, hit enter. So you will see here all the logs and here is my Android phone. So if I open any application, you will see here that a log is created at the background. Just for example, if I open this gallery, so you will see here at the background, there are tons of logs. So if you want to access a log and if you want to read a log, then you, all you have to do is you just have to write down ADB logcat. And what else we can do? We can even pull out a particular file from our Genymotion to our Centric operating system and even we can push any file from our Centric operating system to Genymotion operating system. So just for example, let's try to pull out a APK from our Genymotion. So that's why I'm going here inside ADB shell. So let's go inside data app do ls and you will see here that it has listed out all the APK files. So just for example, we want to pull this file from Genymotion to our desktop. So what we'll do, first of all, we'll find out the directory that is data slash app and we'll copy out the apk file name that is api demos.apk so let me copy this out and let's write here exit and now just write here first of all we'll go to the desktop and just write here adb pull and that is inside data app, app and the app name hit enter and you will see here that we got the apk and it's on my desktop so you can see here the APK file. Similarly, we can push a particular file by just writing here ADB push followed by the file name and the directory inside the Genymotion where you want to push that file. So this is how we can use a Android debug bridge and this was a short overview. So in this video we have covered that what is Android debug bridge and how we can connect Centric operating system and Genymotion and then we have seen some commands like ADB connect, ADB devices, ADB shell, how we can install application by ADB install and how we can uninstall the application by ADB uninstall and how we can pull the file, push the files and how we can use ADB logcat in order to access logs. So thanks for watching this video.